Yo, what's going on YouTube? Trucker Legend here, and you tuned in to my very first video on how I'm preparing to become a truck driver. So first off, I'm in Central Ohio. I've graduated from The Ohio State University, and I have zero experience in logistics or trucking, period. Some of my goals for logistics is one, to own my own authority, buy my own truck, and to be able to have a second driver um, to be able to keep my truck on the road as much as possible. My goals for the YouTube channel is to just get as much information about this process, starting this process of getting my CDLs, you know, going into trucking school, buying a truck, what it takes to buy a truck, getting a dot number, MC number, a lot of compliance work. So really, I wanna be able to document my whole process step by step and be able to share this information uh, with you all. I think it'd be very valuable to, you know, new truck drivers or maybe even veteran truck drivers that haven't got to that level yet, but are looking to do some of the things that, that I'm set goals to do, as well as to be able to network with other truck drivers. Hopefully I'm able to capture the market of veteran drivers. They're able to make uh, comments on my YouTube um, channels to, you know, to give me more information uh, more background. If they've been through the similar situation I'm, that I'm talking about, they're able to add some value there, um, make comments there on which ways I should go or or um, any just valuable information um, that can be utilized by me or my viewers. So there's three main things right now that I'm doing to prepare myself to be a truck driver. First off, I'm Googling and I'm YouTubing pretty much everything about trucking, logistics, um, owning your authority, what it takes to buy a truck. I'm getting familiar with uh, truck vloggers that's already out there. Um, One Rich, man, that guy uh, has added so much value to um, and knowledge to what I got going on. Um, he done been there. He's been in the game for a few years now. Um, he posts consistently. So I've been YouTubing and Googling, you know, just little information about um, owning trucks, what type of engines you want. You know, I'm hearing about Detroit, been hearing about Max. So just trying to get familiar with the terminology, like authority, um, you know, just some of the vocabulary that goes along with logistics. Um, I've been doing my due diligence, uh, you know, staying on Google, staying on YouTube, and just trying to soak up as much information as possible. Secondly, there's two apps. I have them pop up on the screen, probably to, uh, you know, my left and my right. There's two apps I use on my phone. If you got, um, you know, iPhone or you got any type of smartphone, go to your app store, download these two apps. So my first one is CDL Prep. Again, that's just CDL Prep. You should search it. And it's a blue box and it'll have a gray steering wheel. I have a picture of the app um, posted here. So it should help you out, uh, help you locate that app. My next one is just called CDL. And I just got this one. And I, honestly, I like it a little bit better and um this one i actually was ubering the other day and one of my uber passengers uh just so happened to be a, a owner operator and i was telling him hey i'm looking to get my cdls and he said do you got this app and he shared it with me and it's just called cdl it's a red box and it has cdl prep in white um, once again i will be sharing the picture up here so right here right here should be there lastly the third thing I've been doing, I've been doing a ton of research on the different trucking schools that's here in my area. Being in Central Ohio, the logistics is just booming here. So there's like, I don't even know, there's gotta be 20 plus schools um, available to go to. So some of the things that I'm looking for in the schools is financing options. Some of the schools offer opportunities to be signed on to a company. So you'll sign a contract, to a company, you already have a job once you graduate from this from the classes, and they cover the fees to get your CDLs. I've been looking, and in Central Ohio, I'm not sure if it's the same for everywhere else. You're looking at the lowest I've seen was 4,100, and then I've seen a high of $8,000 just for trucking school. So for some people, you know, that ain't got the money to pay out of pocket, it having that financing available to be able to sign on to a company, hey, that might be the route you want to take. Me specifically, I believe that's the route I'm going to take. And then there's a third option of financing. I haven't seen it here in Central Ohio, at least for what I'm trying to do. 
but there are some cases where some colleges and universities allow you to use FAFSA. So any of you that, that have been to college or were able to use financial aid, um, you can use your Pell Grant to help cover the cost of the classes. Now with that, instead of the classes being four to six weeks long, you know, you're going to be looking at an eight to 12 week semester um, like it would be any other college course that you would take. So depending on your situation, your scenario, hey, that might be an option for you. Like I said before, it's looking like I'm going to sign a contract for a year with the company, choose to stay on with that company. Now, the only thing, only issue with signing that contract is if you neglect the contract um, or you break the contract, then the company will come back and say, like, I sign up and if I were to pay out of pocket, it cost me 4500 Now, if I go on the contract, that company may charge me 6000 if I break it. So you're looking at a few, you know, extra uh, $1,000, you know, $1,500 extra if you're not able to maintain that contract. But on the upper hand, you still have your CDLs. You're just not happy there. You know, you can go and take your CDLs to another place and, you know, work to be able to pay off that CDLs. So the three things that I'm doing to help me prepare to become a trucker is research, 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 Google, YouTube, just trying to find as many resources out there as I can, asking as many truck drivers the, the questions, hey, how is it out there? How is it on the road? How is it when it's icy? How is it when it's cold? You know, just the, the questions you need to know before you just jump off into the industry. Two, I'm using those apps to be able to help me pass the, the written portion of the test at the DMV, the CDL, and CDL prep, from what I've heard, CDL literally gives you the test questions that are actually given at the DMV. So I, I feel very comfortable with studying through them. And then lastly, just get familiar with the trucking school options that's in my area. I haven't committed or signed up yet, but 160 Driving an Academy, um, I, I met with the manager up there, Bernie. He's been you know, helpful as far as answering all my questions. In fact, I have some of the things here with me that he gave, some of the resources he gave with me. Boom. So he gave me the actual Ohio commercial driver license manual, which is very helpful when you want to, you know, just digest and dig in some of that, some of the information and legalities of logistics. Boom. He gave me this sheet, which shows the app on here that I downloaded. I actually got that from him and he let me know. Boom. So the general knowledge will have 50 questions. I need 80 percent. The air brakes will have 25 questions, and then the combination will have 20 test questions. So he's letting me know what's ahead, how to study for, and uh, where to go to take my test, the written portion. He also gave me a pre-trip inspection sheet, which literally goes through all of the components of um, the truck, the steering, suspension, brakes. So these are really great resources right here that I got. When I just went in there, I didn't have to sign nothing, I didn't have to pay no money. I just went in there, told him I'm interested in getting my CDLs. And um, yeah, he left me with this. Boom, the pre-trip just in writing. So everything that, that you have to say and conclude and look for on the pre-trip, he gave it to me all in writing. Um, obviously when I get into the classes and I get under the truck and I'm able to see everything, then I can get more familiar with what is what um, as far as being able to touch it, see it uh, for myself. But at the end of the day, these three resources, just by going up in there, letting them know I'm interested, have been very helpful with me just studying, uh, with my confidence going into an industry I have nothing, no clue about. But I'm able to, you know, just get some some information from um, the schools that are going to help me and build my confidence when I'm going in there, and, and I know a little bit about what they're talking about. So. This concludes my first video, how I'm preparing personally. If you got any tips for me, how I also um, I could prepare myself better for the written test, for the driving portion, or just even having to stick it out and being in that school, um, please leave it in the comments below, as well as subscribe now, subscribe now. I'm telling you right now, you don't want to miss out on some of the things I'm going to be doing, some of the access I'm going to be showing everybody here for YouTube as far as what it takes to to be successful in the logistics industry being a, a truck driver the issues the highs and the lows whether it's hey, how much money we make per load or what in, what problems i'm having maybe it's the engine maybe it's the tire blown what to do in these cases um, i'm going to vlog and, and, and put it out there for everyone to see um, so subscribe now 
You're here with Trucker Legend. Um, hey, I'm here for the people to bring you value. Any value you can bring me, please leave in the comments, subscribe, share the channel. Um, other than that, man, y'all enjoy yourselves. Be back next time.